Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster Flash Arion. This monster was available in a breeding event earlier this week. And so today, I'm going to go ahead and review it for you guys. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, we are about to find out whether this monster is actually good or not. Before we find that out, we're going to go ahead and hatch him, of course. That's really important, you know what I mean? Gotta go ahead and hatch this bad boy. Alright, take a look at his design and his ultimate. All right, and that right there is 1010 Flash Arion. All right, so what we're gonna do is, of course, feed it up. And um, apparently, it's an artifact monster. Who would have guessed? It's literally an artifact. So I knew that was gonna be a thing. Um, so yeah, that's good. You know, the fact that he has an artifact trait, that's pretty sweet, right? So let me go ahead and quickly feed this monster up to level 100. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen. There's level 100, that took some time. But anyways, stat-wise, 10,912 strength, 133,608 life, and 7,920 speed. Comparing that to the other monsters right now in the game, that's actually some really good stats overall. I really like that. So in terms of trait, you have artifacts. So artifacts are not alive. Basically, you are immune to all status effects, such as basically any torture in the game or any type of control status effect, which is really sweet. You know what I mean? So that's basically like having immune to torture with immune to control combined. Really good. And you also have resurrection block at rank one. And you have an AoE sunburn that's going to be applied in the beginning of the battle. Another monster that basically starts off with a AoE status caster that applies torture, such as sunburn. So... <laughs> Man, um, I really like this. I like the fact that he has an artifact and resurrection block and this. So I really like the traits. I've got to say, I really like the stats as well. Let's take a look at the relic slots. Mask and banner. You know what? The This isn't so bad. You could do maybe Baltar's mask, but they should actually release like a Obsidian Baltar mask. They really should. For now, I'm going to go with Torbox's mask. And here we can go with either Alarok's banner or we can do this other banner. Where the heck is it? Mr. P's banner. You know, both of them works. So, this kind of reminds me of Crew Electric in terms of trait, as you guys could see, you know what I mean? The block resurrection with artifact. Now, this is really, really good because, of course, a resurrection block is really good. You know what I mean? Like, for example, there's Zero the Divine right now. That's pretty good. That's in the meta. And um, this is a good way to kind of, you know, stop him, kind of counter his skills. That's because that's what he normally does a lot, you know, resurrect monsters. Um, so anyways, let's take a look at the skills here. So we have Desire Revenge, which is an AoE Sunburn. It's a moderate light damage. Okay, let's see what else we have. A moderate ton of damage to all enemies applies extra fight to all enemies. Okay, all right. What else we have? Victor Thunder, massive ton of damage to one enemy applies shock and electrified. A massive skill. What is that, an 80% or 70%? And Jenica's Repair, deactivates all cooldown on itself, heals up. By so you do have a heal skill if you want to go ahead and pair that up. You know what I mean? Use it if you want. Um... And you that deactivating cooldown basically. So let's say you use this two turn cooldown, three turn cooldown, and this. Let's just say. And uh, the thing is, they're all on cooldown. When you use this next turn, you basically deactivate all of your skills. You'll be able to use all these skills again, no matter what. Uh, of course, you need to have the stamina though. Now um, you can go ahead and run another AOE that comes with shock if you want. Uh, so that would be one AoE Thunder and then you have another AoE Light. Although you can run either one of them. Um, maybe you should do emotional damage. I see what they did there. All right, that's a meme. So emotional damage or desire revenge. I would probably go with this one because you already get your sunburn from the status caster. So might as well stack up another and it comes with shock. Pretty good way to stop extra turners. Um, now you already have that right there, so I would say maybe like run a single target spammable like this one as long as you have the 30 stamina, which you should because you, both of your uh, relics should you know help you regenerate those stamina. So overall, I actually like it, and it, it's literally a Blossom Era version of Crew Electric. You know what I mean? It's just that some of the things are different, such as Electrified and some other stuff, but you have basically access to you know, thunder skills, light skills, and the only thing we're missing is fire. I'm honestly debating whether or not I should give this monster some really good runes or not, because I feel like this might be the next meta monster. Um, 
he's really good but at the same time i don't think he's like broken or anything like that um you know what we're gonna do it anyway let's just do it for the purpose of this video and because i might actually max this monster out eventually with uh, you know the rank up survival dungeon so i'm gonna go ahead and give this monster two strengths and one speed and this is something that i recommend you guys doing the same thing you know giving in two strength and one speed or you can do two speed and one strength that also works out uh but that this is something that i'm gonna take this is the route that i'm gonna take and um what we're gonna do is head over to oh okay that's a nice surprise we're gonna head over to maybe um pvp here hopefully we can find some easy opponents to attack with this mythic monster so of course i'm gonna go ahead and switch this with uh this thunder mythic monster is it thunder no it's not thunder what the wait is it earth no light it has to be light right yeah, okay. Flesh hearing is light. Okay. Now, Elgato won't be the best monsters to use here. Or Slunster, really, unless you get Trade Saber or something. So, um, basically any monster that could heal. Um, you know what I mean? So, for example, Posidonia would be nice. Or, whoops. Uh, so, avoid any monster that could give damage boost and stuff like that. Because, it's a, sadly, you can't really give damage boost to this monster. Unless it's Trade Disabled. Um, and so just avoid those monsters and stuff like that i think i'm gonna run this tank on the side you know what i guess we could run something like this it's nothing too crazy you know what i mean nothing too fancy um it's not gonna work well but we're gonna see if uh we can actually do something with this monster here on pvp uh sadly there is dark voltic here so <laughs> it's game over we can't do anything okay hopefully we don't lose against this one um Although, I wish Fleshering was two elements rather than just one. Although he has, has access to fire skills, it's just that... Or not fire skills, what am I saying? Thunder skills, right? Um, but sadly, he only has that light element there. Um, but uh, in order to get the best out of him, I would say rank him up. You know what I mean? Especially if you want to use it on PvP. Because, you know... Man, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was gonna say, um, especially against URL because many players do intend to use URL, so it'd be best to do that. Alright, so take a look at this battle. He's gonna try to basically AoE freeze me with um, the Ignorance's Bliss, unless he uses Corrupt the Dragon. Okay, you know what? That's fine too, I guess. Um, so what we're gonna do is basically cleanse, although I don't think that's gonna help out much because that's gonna happen, yeah. But it's okay because this time I'm using Ural on my side, so I'm gonna go ahead and basically resurrect, take advantage of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that damage mirror, although I don't think that's gonna help me out much, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway, right? So he went ahead and activated his own face shield there. Um, Ignorance is Bliss, that's when you end up using it. All right, yeah, the AI is basically getting smarter and smarter, I say. Um, so sadly, we can't really attack because there is True Vision, um, not True Vision, who cares about that? Evasion and Positive Obsession, but especially Evasion and there's Megaton, you know what I mean? So sadly, we can't really attack it. Um, but if there was none of that, uh, we were going to, of course, attack and deal some damage. So. And sadly, he doesn't have Pierce like these other fancy monsters. Uh, but that doesn't make him bad. It's just that, you know what I mean, he won't really have that um, access. Just like the other monsters. So it can suck at some time, so you know what I mean. Um, but I'm not going to trigger that evasion just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first. Oh, the monster just died to the tortures. Okay, we didn't even have the trigger. That's good. So now the base is basically open. We should be able to now win unless something goes wrong here. What are you going to do? Forgotten. Please don't apply tortures. Yes, you did apply tortures. You did a special weakness. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do an AoE possession. All right, so both monsters are possessed. Please use Lust Wings. Yep, just like that. Sweet. That monster is dead. We're going to go ahead and uh, cleanse, I guess. Sure, why not? And here's where we resurrect our attacker. So our attacker is back. Now you see how it's weak against this monster because of the two light skills. They're both weak. Uh, but the thing is you have access to thunder skills as well. So this is really good. You know what I mean? Now since you want to know why he's doing such low damage. It's because it's a 150 versus a 100. And we have level 7 runes only. Now imagine if it was level 10 runes at 150 versus 150. He would basically deal a lot of damage. So this comes with electrified and shock. So what electrified does is that. It deals 15% of the damage and blocks the area dodge effect. Um, so pretty good against like any other dodger monsters out there um, that has status caster. So this one is a zero stamina, two turn cooldown, 35% AOE. Sing his most single target or his most powerful single target skill is the Victor Thunder, which is a 65%. And as you guys can see, it comes with multiple tortures and all those tortures will be enough to kill 
kill him? No? Okay, never mind. I thought he was actually gonna die from all that. Now, if you try to heal him like this, sadly it won't work because he's an artifact. So, life regen and other status effects will not be applied, even if they're positive. Um, so, just something to keep in mind. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Oh, the thing didn't apply. Only that did. You know what? Take him down if you want. I don't care. That's actually gonna help me out in his turn. I'm, I could kill him right now, but I wanna take him down with my attacker. So... If you want to take me down, go for it. I don't care, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and resurrect. <laughs> and now we're going to finish you off with the AoE Electrified. And let's see that in a slow motion. Ooh, look at that. It's just a beam light. All right. So the reason why I missed, by the way, is because of Bulwark. I'm sure many of you guys know that. But just wanted to let you guys know in case you didn't know. You know what I mean? Um, so you don't think the monster sucks. Uh, the monster doesn't suck, okay? It's actually pretty good and his skills can be utilized. Same with his trait, you know what I mean? And his stats are actually pretty good. Relics could have been better, but it's not bad at all. So overall, the monster is pretty good in my opinion. Um, definitely a pretty good free-to-play monster for this era. So if you guys would like to rank it up, take it to the dungeon, you know, rank it up that way. Or you can purchase Nectars if you want to uh, speed it up. But yeah, just avoid you know, pairing this monster up with Slumster or Elgata and stuff like that because sadly, you can't really apply those damage boosts here and there, you know, because of his trait. But Resurrection Block can come in handy, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's Monster Jones Monster Review. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.